The Americans failed with all their capabilities at the beginning of the aggression against Yemen, and today they will fail even more and faster. Marches are taking place worldwide. A sea of demonstrators you can see for yourself with many carrying Palestinian flags. A representative of the Houthi movement addressed the crowd, saying that its forces were ready to fight against both Israel and the U.S. We will support our brothers in Palestine. We tell them they are not alone. God is supporting him, and we are with him too. Today is part of an international mobilization in support of the Houthis. We're here at this rally to support the Yemeni people. And the people of Yemen are the heroes of the entire world for what they are doing right now. We're out here. We believe that we got signs. We realize the aggression on Gaza and all these crimes are a joint American-British-Israeli action. Whoever stands with them bears responsibility for what happens in Gaza. 20,000 plus people killed in Gaza as Israel unleashes its horrendous crimes. But the Houthis and Yemen, the poorest country on the planet, they're actually doing something about it. They're turning the ships around. They're saying no ships to Israel until the bombing stops. No ships until there's no more bombing enforcing a naval blockade against Israel in solidarity with the people of Gaza. Yemen, Yemen, make us proud, turn another ship around. This is a picket line in the Red Sea. Do not cross. They are standing against Israeli atrocities. They are stopping those scab ships that are cooperating with Israel. And this is a heroic act of solidarity. Thanks to heroes in Red Sea, Palestine will be free Thanks to heroes in Red Sea, Palestine will be free. And if you think about that, I see America in Ansar Allah. This is a group of people that call themselves supporters of God, that believe in economic development. Because they're doing the same thing that the people in the American Revolution did. They're standing up against an international colonial system. And I really want everyone watching now to think about what it means to be an American. What does it mean to be somebody here in the United States of America? Because this is a country that was founded by people from all different corners of the world, endured all kinds of hardship, people from all over the planet who come to the United States of America because they believe that they can get a better life for their family, because they, they can survive horrendous conditions. Many of them motivated by belief in God and belief that there is a higher purpose and they can build a better life. I have actually here these buttons with the symbol, the official symbol of Ansar Allah on them. And as you can see, you know, one of the things that's very prominently featured on their symbol is a gun. Because part of the Ansar Allah religion, part of the, the teachings of Zaydi Shia Islam, is that every man must have a gun to protect his household. They believe in the right to bear arms. What could be more American than that? In addition, uh, they have a shaft of wheat. Uh, there's a shaft of wheat that is perpendicular to the gun that stands for economic development, meaning that they don't believe in this degrowth environmentalism that's being pushed by the, the fake left. They believe that they can make a better life for their children, make a better life. They want to use Yemen's oil resources to build up their economy and raise their people up from poverty. No war with Yemen. No war with Yemen. No war with Yemen. People in one of the poorest countries in the world, in the mountains of northern Yemen, the Ansar Allah movement, the followers of Hussein al-Houthi, the poorest people in the world are standing up and fighting back. They have picked up a gun and they are fighting for their people. The Yemeni people will not tolerate any American intervention or guardianship. We are ready for confrontation. The aggression against Yemen has been US-led from the beginning. We are prepared for everything. We realize that if we do not make a sacrifice now, we will later when we are oppressed and defeated. You know, the Bible says that the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. And if you think about it, if you think about what's happening in the world now, Yemen, one of the poorest countries in the world, is making itself heard all over the planet. The Houthis are heroes. Uh, if the American people knew what they were doing, right, they would be supporting it. You know, Mao Zedong, the founder of the Chinese Revolution, he said, the people of a small country can surely defeat aggression by a big country, but only if they dare to rise and struggle, only if they dare take up arms and grasp into their own hands.
demands the destiny of their country. And the people of Yemen have done that. If the American forces present in the Red Sea commit foolish acts against the Yemeni people, whether against the Navy, against Yemen in general, or against Yemen's interests, the Yemeni people will not stand idly by, and the armed forces will not stand idly either. American naval units will become targets, along with those who support and back them. What we're looking at today is another miracle in the Red Sea. Pharaoh didn't learn his lesson the last time. And it, Pharaoh Biden sends American troops to try to fight in, in the Red Sea. He's going to meet the same fate as the hero in the Old Testament did. If you truly love America, if you truly love everything this country was meant to stand for, when it emerged as a revolution against the British Empire, you should love the Houthis right now. You should love the people of Yemen and admire them. They are standing against the Atlanticist system, this global system of free trade. They are stopping that free trade. They are stopping the ships. They are standing for economic development. They are shutting it down. They are the heroes of the people of the world. They stand for economic development. They stand for the rights of people, the rights of justice and truth against the system that puts profit and monopoly, big banks and corporations over human lives. We admire the Houthis. The Houthis are the hero of the whole world. We stand with you from Bronx to Chicago to Portland to every corner of this country. There are Americans that hear your call and stand with you. Shut it down. Solidarity with Ansar Allah, solidarity with Yemen, solidarity with Gaza, free Palestine, down with U.S. imperialism. The poorest nation on the planet is doing more than all the richest nations put together to defend decency and oppose genocide. They're doing what America should be doing, and we at the Center for Political Innovation support them. And then we cross that bridge into China. Saw a great banner up ahead. It's mean and set, my heart's a pounding, and this is what that banner is. Long live the great unity yeah. of the peoples of the world. Long live the great unity yeah. of the peoples of the world. The government of Sana'a, because it makes its own decisions, isn't hostage to the American colonial project and has witnessed the atrocities of the American Zionist colonial project. The world, if it continues to watch the heinous crimes in Gaza and Palestine, will pay a high price in the future. Because this is the message of the new colonial project. Whoever stands against it will face a fate similar to that of the people of Gaza. China, Russia, and India, and other countries won't accept American-British-Israeli dominance. The Houthis are heroes. Houthis are heroes. Houthis are heroes. Houthis are heroes. 